Hi everybody! Sorry I haven't made a video in a while, I've just been really busy, but here's one to hold you over for a little bit. Now what's everyone's favorite question to ask you if you get into a conversation where somebody says, Okay, you're in the Nazi zombie universe, or you're in Skyrim, or you're in Battlestar Galactica, I don't know. What is everyone's favorite question to ask? What would your loadout be? And that's a very fun question. What would your loadout be? And I'm here to give mine today. Not just any loadout, my sci-fi loadout. So here we go. Firstly, I would be wearing everything that I have on Luke Skywalker's belt from Empire Strikes Back, because I think that it has a nice, um look and feel to it. It has enough room for all your stuff to fit on it. You've got your pouches, which are really accessible, and um, it's got a thigh strap holster, which I've always liked, because it's easier for me to grab that instead of having to reach all the way here or all the way there, so I really like that. That, that would be the belt that everything's carried on, but the main question is, <clears throat> what's my loadout? What's my primary weapon? Well, my primary weapon would be Luke Skywalker's lightsaber from Return of the Jedi. I know I've said before that his lightsaber from A New Hope and Empire Strikes Back is my number one favorite lightsaber, and it is. But in the terms of fighting ability, comfort, and grip, I have always liked his lightsaber from Return of the Jedi or even Obi-Wan Kenobi's from A New Hope and Revenge of the Sith, because for me, that build of lightsaber is more comfortable for me to hold. The Return of the Jedi saber, I feel it's much more comfortable for me. Sidearms. Now everybody needs a sidearm, or sidearms, because what happens if you lose your first one? Then, you know, you're screwed. Um, <laughs> so, this is my uh, sidearms. My first sidearm would be Luke Skywalker's uh, DL-44 from Empire Strikes Back. I would say Han Solo's DL-44, or maybe even... Um, Han Solo's Greedo Killer DL-44, but I've always liked Luke's DL-44 from uh, Empire much more than any of the ones that they built for Harrison Ford during the rest of the Star Wars trilogy. I don't know. I just feel that the sight is a little bit more workable than the, the hero Han DL, and... It just, it looks like it would work better for me than with the hero pop or the Greedo killer. The second sidearm that I would carry should I lose my DL-44 in battle is the Star Trek phaser. Um, it's small, it's really easy to conceal, and it packs one hell of a punch, especially if you put it on a kill. Scientific equipment. Now, it's always a good idea to have some sort of scientific equipment on you should you come to a complete alien world. You need to know exactly where you are, what kind of ground you're standing on, if it's harmful to you. And I think I would carry around uh, the 10th Doctor Sonic Screwdriver. Uh, one, because it's compact. That's one reason I've always loved the 10th Doctor Sonic Screwdriver. It's compact. That and the technology is a little bit more advanced than the previous Doctor Screwdrivers, and I would, I'd be able to scan a lot more stuff with it and figure out exactly where I am based on the readings, and then I could just take it back to the TARDIS, which is my primary mode of transport, stick it into the charging port and figure out, you know, oh, well, I'm here or I'm there, if the TARDIS couldn't tell me at first. Communication equipment. Communication is very important between you and your crew members. So for me, I think the best ever communication equipment I've ever seen in uh, a scientific TV show or movie is the communicator PDAs from Eureka. One, they are extremely compact. Two, they have a very long battery life. Uh, three, they have cameras and a, just a normal still camera and a video camera, which are in high quality, so it's easier for you to um, communicate with your friends better. Instead of just having to talk on your phone, you can turn the camera towards yourself and just say, hey, you know, I'm here, tell me about my surroundings from what you can see, and you can send still pictures and such like that. And so I just, I, I like the Eureka PDA because you can also do a lot more scanning with it, so it could also go into the scientific equipment, but I mainly would use it as a communications tool. Heavy weapon. Weapons. Heavy weapons are a very important thing, but for me, I would only use heavy weapons if it's a all else fails or a uh, XK class end of the world scenario. Three cheers to you if you get that reference. I would just use it as a last resort, like if you know my DL44 doesn't work, if my uh, phaser doesn't work, if my lightsaber doesn't work, this is the last thing I would use, and that is an M41A pulse rifle from Aliens. One, the primary action on it is awesome. I mean that mows down xenomorphs faster than anything I've seen in, in any other movie. That and it has the grenade launcher attachment, so I mean, like, if I had to, you know, myself off, I could easily just, I could do it fast. 
And of course, as I said, my primary mode of transport would be the Type 40 TARDIS, or the Doctor's TARDIS from Doctor Who. The reason I, I say the TARDIS, you know, a lot of people could say, oh, well, you're just saying that because you're a Doctor Who fan. No, if I was to fly around in, like, the Millennium Falcon, that's great. That's a that's a good ship. The Millennium Falcon has, you know, beat the Kelso run in less than 12 parsecs. But the problem is, it it's too big. It, it would be the same problem if I said that I was taking the Enterprise, because with the Enterprise it takes a lot of people to man that ship, and it takes a, it takes two people to try and fix the, the Millennium Falcon. So I would take the TARDIS because, one, it's bigger on the inside and it can fit into any space, especially if it's in a police box form. It can fit into tight spaces and it's easy to maneuver, bigger on the inside, and the console is a little bit easier for me to understand than with the Enterprise or the Falcon. So, so pretty much, this is what my loadout would look like. I like the look of that loadout, I really do. So that's my sci-fi loadout. I'll probably do some more of these if you guys want. Tell me what your loadouts would be in the comment section down below. I'm Nathan Russell Smith, family slash Evil Dead 2 fan, and I will see you guys later.